It's almost dark, guys. It looks a lot lighter in the video than it is. Uh, Nugget was asleep in the chair after we got home from the food pantry. So, since he hadn't been well, we can't... Well, he can walk some, but he don't feel like it. So, anyway, we walked up the road and look. Since we've walked up here in two days, the crab apple trees are blooming and i can get close enough to this one that y'all can see the blooms there and oh it smells good but they're blooming everywhere like i see two or three way you see that white back there i'm amazed that this camera brings it up so bright because y'all it's almost dark too dark to be walking so i'm headed back towards the house but y'all see that white back there in the woods and they're all down the road. I see them all up in through the woods over there. And we walked up the other way first and they're all back there. I mean, springtime is popping. Of course, springtime is what? Like next week or the next week. I'm not sure when I'll post this video, but me and Brinley hadn't walked by ourselves in a long time. But she kept going to the door. I was trying to really not do it because I was tired <laughs> y'all she's not gonna let me not walk she keeps me she keeps me moving but Nug is I think he's tired he he did go to sleep in the car seat finally but Brindley slept almost the whole time the whole hour we were waiting and he didn't but even this tree right here I don't know if y'all can see Y'all see those leaves? I think y'all can see that, can't you? Now, all this has happened in two days. We didn't walk down here yesterday or the day evening before because Nugget was sick. So, me and Brinley just kind of walked. I just took her across there, across the road. She just don't like to potty in her yard. And we have a severe wind advisory for after 1 a.m. in the morning, I believe, tonight. So I've got to go move the flamingo because she keeps falling over anyway. I don't want her to get blowed off in the creek. And I've got to put the umbrellas down. And Seth will be back in the morning to uh, pressure wash the porch and put some more boards up and he's still got to put a little more concrete. He left today for part of the day and went and helped a friend set some posts on a bar in his house or something. He asked me, could he go do it? I told him that was fine. To just come back tomorrow and Wednesday if it wasn't raining because now, see, the wind's already blowed her over. I don't know how I'm going to fix her. I put new legs on her last year. And I've glued it. And nothing is holding the legs. So I have this and a birdhouse. Oh, I can get that. Yo, know, I may have to turn the camera off to get the... Oh, that leg was in there good. She might not have went nowhere. Well, she might have blowed off that leg, too. Friendly don't like it because her pearls is rattling. <laughs> she ran into the planter. It scared her. So we're going to put the flamingo over here in a safe spot. We have the chickens up. And... Let me go see if there's any mail. That's M-A-I-L. Just in case anybody wonders what kind of mail I'm looking for. Oh, Lordy. We got to have a sense of humor, y'all. It, it'd be a bad life if you didn't. But I'm afraid a lot of people don't have a sense of humor. So, you know what? I think I took the mail in earlier when I bought them out to potty. Yep, surely did. I'm telling y'all, these senior moments. 
Look at all my solar lights coming on. I told y'all this, this, it's a lot darker than what this video is showing. But all my solar lights, I'll be so glad when all this wood gets stained. It's gonna really, it's gonna really make my porch look nice. And uh, I have, uh, <clears throat> I have a few plans to do some things. I may even put a ceiling up over that uh, insulation. I was talking to Seth about that. That really wouldn't be an expensive job if I could find some used metal. And I find used metal all the time from different people. They're glad for you to take it away from their house. <clears throat> uh, since I've talked about it, I've planted quite a few more garden seeds. I don't video that kind of stuff. Y'all, I just, I just kind of like to enjoy myself, you know, when I come out here to do some of this stuff and not to you know, do a video and talk, but I put, I've been saving cardboard boxes and I've gotten uh, some of the cardboard down. I want to make walkways like I did at my other house. Uh, I want to make walkways over here so I don't have to mow this. And I have other plans for the yard to do things where I won't have to mow. So the less I have to mow, the better it is for me. I did have a chicken that got out today and I had cabbage planted right here on the end of this row. And uh, she dug all my cabbage up while I was at a food pantry. So I've got to redo my cabbages. Although I get a lot of cabbage at the food pantry, I really probably don't need to plant any. But I have no more containers and no more space available for planting. I have everything I've planted filled up. I would like some more containers. Now the dilemma is, do I want large pots? Do I want to buy? I get these planters cheap, y'all. Like they're three times as much. I priced that long one. I ordered it offline through Walmart online. I saw them at Atwood's the other day. They're three times the price I get for that one last summer. And I looked them up online, Walmart online, and they're still cheaper to buy them online. So just heads up, if you're buying metal planters at your local farm supply, it's much cheaper to buy them online and put them together. You have to put them together anyway, but they're not hard to put together. The hardest part about it to me is I have to do it on my knees <laughs> with my arthritis. That's, I got down on my knees today when Seth was here and I told him, I think you're going to have to go get the jack out of the car. And he just died laughing. I wish y'all could see back here. I was going to show y'all my little cedar trees. Remember a few weeks ago I dug up some cedar trees? Well, I planted them right there by those stakes, two of them. And when I cleaned it back here the other day, I marked them. So if anybody's back here doing any work for me or I don't forget they're there and mow them down or do something crazy. But the fig, since we came back here, is totally butted out. Both of them, look, this one has a leaf. I think y'all can see that. Now that's been two days. All these trees have butted out in two days. But it's 85 degrees here. But all these planters, if y'all can see them, all these have tomatoes. I planted a bunch of big tomatoes and the little um, black cherry and the little yellow pear tomatoes. And all those have tomatoes. So everything is planted. So if I plant any more and I have more seeds and I want to plant... So, when these radishes go to seed, and they are, I can plant another little short row of something right there. And when this bok choy goes to seed, which won't be long, uh, I can plant more stuff right there. But I planted some more bok choy over in another planter. But what I'm trying to do is, I've said before, plant small areas 
and as that area goes to seed, I want to be able to plant over in another container the same thing in a small area. So I have continuous fresh vegetables is my goal, but I've got to get more planters. See, I could put more planters here, which I've been wanting to do for two summers, but you know, you only have so much money and you can only do so much in a day. So, even the stuff Seth is doing is stuff that we talked about doing when I first moved over here this July. The fourth weekend will be two years. And I'm just now getting around to it. And I've talked about it in other videos. Uh, you know, I don't have the money. He don't have the time. You know, whatever. Sounds like an old country song, don't it? Anyway, night is falling Y'all sleep peacefully. Me and Brindley and Nugget. Y'all look, Nugget figured out. Well, that really brightened it up, didn't it? Look, Nugget figured out we wasn't in the house. He's watching us out the window. Y'all, he just didn't feel like going. He needed his rest. He's just looking. He's been doing so good with not whining and stuff. He's getting to be a big boy. He's your mommy's big boy. I'm gonna tell you, when I go in, I'm gonna take a shower. Brindley's going to get over on the back of the couch and go to sleep. And uh, Nugget is going to get in Mama's lap and snuggle up. And then when I get in the bed, he'll be the first one up against me sleeping. But there's a little night view of, of the yard. I can't believe it is as warm as it is. For March. I mean, no. For the end of February. It ain't even March yet. It's the end of February. The last week in February. And, of course, it could turn cold again. And it probably will. And that's what makes it so bad about East Texas. Is because it warms up. And then it gets cold again. But my hostas are even coming up, y'all. I saw hostas. At least two today. Uh, coming up the uh, lily of the nile is coming up the hydrangeas are blooming are not blooming budding uh, all the trees are budding it's crazy y'all sleep sweet we'll see y'all in the next video